Chapter 11. Then the Spirit lifted me up and brought me to the east gate of the Lord's house, which faces eastward, and there at the door of the gate were twenty-five men, among whom I saw Jeazaniah the son of Azur, and Pelatiah the son of Benaiah, the princes of the people. And he said to me, Son of man, these are the men who devise iniquity and give wicked counsel in this city, who say, The time is not near to build houses, this city is the cauldron, and we are the meat. Therefore prophesy against them, prophesy, O son of man. Then the Spirit of the Lord fell upon me, and said to me, Speak, thus says the Lord. Thus you have said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that come into your mind. You have multiplied your slain in this city, and you have filled its streets with the slain. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Your slain whom you have laid in its midst, they are the meat, and this city is the cauldron, but I shall bring you out of the midst of it. You have feared the sword, and I will bring a sword upon you, says the Lord God. And I will bring you out of its midst, and deliver you into the hands of strangers, and execute judgments on you. You shall fall by the sword, I will judge you at the border of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. This city shall not be your cauldron, nor shall you be the meat in its midst. I will judge you at the border of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord, for you have not walked in my statutes, nor executed my judgments, but have done according to the customs of the Gentiles, which are all around you. Now it happened while I was prophesying that Pelatiah, the son of Benaiah, died. Then I fell on my face and cried with a loud voice and said, Ah, Lord God, will you make a complete end of the remnant of Israel? Again the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, your brethren, your relatives, your countrymen, and all the house of Israel in its entirety are those about whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem have said, Get far away from the Lord. This land has been given to us as a possession. Therefore say, Thus says the Lord God, Although I have cast them far off among the Gentiles, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet I shall be a little sanctuary for them in the countries where they have gone. Therefore say, Thus says the Lord God, I will gather you from the peoples, assemble you from the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. And they will go there, and they will take away all its detestable things and all its abominations from there. Then I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within them, and take the stony heart out of their flesh, and give them a heart of flesh, that they may walk in my statutes, and keep my judgments, and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. But as for those whose hearts follow the desire for their detestable things and their abominations, I will recompense their deeds on their own heads, says the Lord God. So the cherubim lifted up their wings, with the wheels beside them, and the glory of the God of Israel was high above them. And the glory of the Lord went up from the midst of the city, and stood on the mountain which is on the east side of the city. Then the Spirit took me up, and brought me in a vision by the Spirit of God into Chaldea, to those in captivity. And the vision that I had seen went up from me. So I spoke to those in captivity of all the things the Lord had shown me.